So first draw horizontal line of ATM. Hmm? Here we have to convert if it is a distance is given in millimeter, kilometer, meters, we have to use the scale. In that scale, take one mm of your drawing is equal to one meter or one kilometer, whatever dimensions are given. So now base is 80 meter. So first mark the horizontal line of 80 meter. First dog online representing the base of this one. Then mark the height. Again, draw the perpendicular bisector and mark the height first 100. Okay, for your understanding, I am writing the dimension. Draw perpendicular bisector and mark the height 100. Okay, now see if you have marked 100 mm here, extend this line and again mark the 100. So, total length will be 200 mm. So, draw the given base, draw its perpendicular height, perpendicular bisector and mark the distance equal to the double of the given height. So, height is given 100 mm, so mark the total length 200 vertical. Okay. Then, suppose this is a AB and here we have marked CD. Then join this A with the ends of your base. Join this D with A. Join this D with B and complete a triangle. Hmm? Join this point with the end of given base A. Join this point with B. Hmm? Then divide this sides that is AD and db into same number of equal parts and always remember divide into even parts the reason i will tell afterward so divide this sides of a triangle into same number of equal parts so i will divide this into suppose six part how to divide so again use the graphical method Again, through point A, draw inclined line, through point B, again draw inclined line. I have to divide this into six equal part. okay? Then mark six equal part. One, two, three, four, five. Six one two three four five six. Hmm? Join the end point of both this line and join the line parallel to first one. Similarly, here also, for join the end point. Then use this uh, your roller scale or mini doctor. Draw the line parallel to this first one. Hmm? So I have divided the sides of a triangle into same number of equal part that is also into 
uh, even parts. Now see here, then give the points in this manner, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Then one dash, two dash, three dash, four dash, five dash. See here, how I have marked the points. Here I have given the sequence one, two, three, four, five. For this opposite side, I have started in opposite direction. One dash, two dash, three dash, four dash, five dash. In a downward direction. Hmm. Then join one with one dash. Join one with one dash. Join two with two dash. Join three. Now here your point must pass to the center of the height. Three dash. Join four. Four dash. Join five with five dash. Hmm? So join one with one dash. Two with two dash. Three with three dash. Four with four dash. Five with five dash. Okay. Hmm. Now draw a free anchor such that draw a free anchor such that your curve must be tangential to all this line. Okay. So this is our midpoint. I'll simply mark some points at the maximum. Draw the curve such that it must be tangential to all this line which we have drawn. So start the curve from point A or B. So, draw the curve draw the curve must be tangential draw the curve it must be tangential to all this point okay 